Everyone will remember the first time they experienced the Johannes Passion of Bach. Of course, it's a masterwork and is known and loved throughout the world. I remember very much my own personal experience of it, which was as a choir boy at Westminster Cathedral. I was about 11 or 12, and we sang on a daily basis Victoria and Palestrina and a different liturgy every day. So we very rarely got the chance to sing these major oratorio works, whereas the Thomannenchor in Leipzig sings these as a, a central part of the repertoire. So it was very special for us to do this. And I remember even then feeling that the piece was driven by this amazing evangelist. It's not just about Christ, actually. It's about his friend, the evangelist, experiencing this terrible, terrible tragedy. Um, and so the very end of the piece, you hear the final uh, restative from the evangelist. You hear how ruined he is, how broken he is. And the choir is an amazing comfort to him. And throughout the piece, it's, it's designed in such a way that the structure is perfect. The structure is absolutely amazing with this sort of mirror format. Um, the chorales are very important because they give the piece its structure. So that the narrative pace is, is very easy actually to perform the Johannes Passion well because Bach writes it so wonderfully. So I, I can't wait to do it with this choir. I've done it a million times, but never with Rias, and I can't wait. <laughs>